Hi, this is Vicki Gilfrith Parnell, and I have a word of warning to the unfruitful given to me by my lovely Jesus this morning, and I have been praying when to share it, if not to share it, what to do, and, and, and I have to share it. It came today, 3-22-22, at 9.03 a.m. Father God, I come to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask that you send these words out and that it reach the hearts of the people before it's too late. Give them ears to hear, Lord, and a heart to receive what you're telling us, Lord. Move on us, Lord. Convict us, stir us, purge us, cleanse us. But God, don't ever leave us. God, you said your word would not return until you void. It would go out and accomplish all that you pleased it to do. Father God, I'm being obedient. Let your perfect will be done in my life and in all things, in earth as it is in heaven. And I bind every power of Satan, every lying tongue, every device, scheme, gin, snare, device, arrow, in Jesus' name. And I command this word to go forth wherever the Lord needs it to go forth, in Jesus' name. A word of warning. To the unfruitful. The axe has been laid to the vine. Those not producing fruit, the good fruit of me, I am chopping off. You were warned to get fully in, fully surrendered to me, or to get out. Yet, you still try to straddle the fence with one foot in the world and the other chasing after me. That's not how it works. Your unfaithfulness, your refusal to let go of this world's fleshly pleasures will cost you much. Your pursuit of me, my love, should be as passionate as my love and pursuit of you. Did I not say, seek me? Seek me with all your hearts, while I can still be found. Destruction is at hand. Sorrows have already begun. For those of you still refusing to see the end of all things are here, and you're still hung up on your interpretation of my holy scriptures. In Matthew chapter 24, where I speak of, things to come in verse 5 and 6. Standing on verse 6 you do, but the end is not yet. Then verse 8, which I spoke of these things being the beginning of sorrows. I ask you this, how many wars and rumors of wars does there have to be for you to realize the truth of my words? How many nations must rise against nations, or famine occur, or pestilence arise? Have you not heard of all these things for many of your years now? Turn away from your man-made theologies, doctrines, and religion, and return to me. Before my act strikes true upon your lives, and I remove you from me, the vine, I am a God of love, of justice, compassion, and mercy. But if you truly love me, you would lay aside all these fleshly things and worldly religious things and turn your faces and hearts to me, Jesus, God's Son, and ask me to show you my truth. You would ask for understanding of my holy scriptures. And I would send my Holy Spirit to teach you. But you must be teachable. And therein is where the problem lies. You have accepted your man-made doctrines and religions and have no room for me, the truth. I am laying my axe to the unfruitful branches. Will you be one of them, I ask you, my children? Some I will prune, while others I shall chop at their withered, dead, dried roots. 
and they will fall to the ground to be gathered and then cast into the fires. Did I not say to get ready, to get in, or get out? Many shall now perish in their unclean state, with hell awaiting for their eternity. Have you not realized yet, once you're in hell, your eternal fate is sealed? Have you not realized yet that no matter how much horror, how much destruction, how much desolation you face on this earth, with all that's coming, it's still only a small taste of the torment one will endure in hell's flames? I'm swinging my righteous axe now, and I'm not stopping until all the fruitless branches are removed, those that my purging will not save. Daughter of faith and grace, I'm swinging my axe of truth, and as the unfruitful vine's branches are struck, I shall cast them each one far away, as I spew you out of my holy and righteous mouth. I will tolerate your undecisiveness no longer. You were told to make your choice. You were warned to make a decision. Straddling the fence is a choice. A choice to serve your enemy Satan, the devil. Because little children, he owns the fence. For my fruitful branches... My obedient children, who are chasing after me passionately, I say this. Harvest time is here, and I'm coming to gather the good fruit to me. Get ready. Prepare to meet me in the heavens, in the sky. Trouble is here. You must endure until the end of your allotted time whether it be by my return or a later time or even death, you must endure until your time is over. Those who are faithful, prepare to receive a great outpouring of my spirit. You will need him to survive, and in this outpouring, you will begin for many, for many of you to start operating fully in his gifts as my bride should be doing, while others shall begin sooner. Get ready, I say, get ready. And for those still wavering and straddling the fence, I say this, it's best you make your choice before my ax strikes your unfruitful branches, because by then it is too late.